G'day everyone, welcome to Duffy's Cooking Adventures. Um, today we are cooking a ravioli. We are about to make the pasta um, and I'll run you through that now. So I'm just crack open a beer and um, yeah, we'll, um, we'll go through it. So the ravioli will be um, a spinach and ricotta ravioli. And um, yeah, let's, let's get into it. Cheers. All right, so we're gonna make the pasta dough now. So what we're gonna do is, like I said before, it's 100 grams per egg. Um, so we're gonna use three eggs today, so it'll be 300 grams of double O flour. So I've zeroed out the scales, and we're just gonna put in our flour here. So we'll put in 300 grams, and then we'll put our three eggs in. All right, so we're just gonna chuck on the KitchenAid there and we'll bind everything in. And then I'm just gonna chuck in a teaspoon of olive oil just to soften up that dough for the ravioli. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in to soften the dough because it's for ravioli. We want a nice soft consistency with the pasta dough, so just add a little bit at a time as, as you need. Like, you've got um, different size eggs and stuff, so uh, when you get to this stage, you just add, add a little bit of water and you just, um, yeah, just soften it up so it'll um, bind easy when you make your ravioli. Okay, so look at that beautiful pasta dough. That's really uh, bound together really, really nice. So we're just gonna take that off. All right, that's done a really good job with that. So we're just gonna chuck a bit of flour down. And just as we normally would do, We'll just need the pasta dough. Oh, that's, that is really nice. That is a really good consistency. So that is enough pasta, uh, enough flour there. All right, so just need that in. So that's bound together really nice. Have a good look at that. Let's look at a bit of the texture of it there. So that's really, really good. So we'll just wrap that up. Okay, so the pasta dough is done. We're gonna leave this for about 45 minutes. Uh, we'll come back. I've just got time for another cheeky beer or two. So that'd be good. And um, I'll come back and I'll show you how to make some beautiful ravioli. Can't wait. Okay, so for our filling, we're just going to um, put some pine nuts in here, so we're going to roast these. So, a little bit of salt. In there. Okay, so we're just going to add a little bit of butter. A bit of olive oil, a bit of garlic, and then we'll put our spinach in there. I'll just wait for everything to combine properly. All right, so just a bit of lemon zest here, a little bit, nice little bit of flavour. Right, so we're just going to put our spinach in now. Alright, so just chucking in a bit of salt and pepper now. Just a bit of salt. Just a little bit there. All 
Alright, so we're just the spinach up. Just taking the moisture out. Okay, so we're just gonna put this in the bowl. Okay, so put our ricotta in, pine nuts, lime juice. Okay, so that was 200 grams of ricotta. Just put in a bit of salt there. That's a bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. And then we'll just mix that in. And that's our filling. So it's looking really nice. Look at that ricotta that we made earlier today. It's um, looking really beautiful, bonding together, nice and firm. It has a really nice creamy sort of a texture to it. It's looking really good, really tasty. That is a really nice mix. Okay, so we're just gonna get this pasta dough ready for the pasta maker there. Nicely coated. This is in really good condition. Beautiful pasta. So we'll just spread it out a little bit before we run it through the rollers. So we don't want to overwork it. So, all right, that looks pretty good. All right, so let's roll it through. So we're starting starting on the biggest uh, setting that we've got on this KitchenAid. I'm just going to roll it over so I get a nice quick. So we'll run it through again. Yeah, that's really good. So we'll just keep repeating the process and go down one step at a time. Um, so this KitchenAid um, roller goes up to eight steps. So we'll go to number seven. So just keep flaring it as you go. Step number four. Putting our raviolis in, just all the fillings. Bit for the table as well. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so I'll cut the fiber edge first. Glue back these together. And pushing out the bubbles as we go. Okay, so we're just putting our sage and butter in now. Nice dollop there. Um, so we'll put a little bit of salt, put our lemon juice in, get a nice little bit of flavour. Slowly just stir it in through. ready to put our raviolis into the uh, water there and then uh, we'll put them in for a couple of minutes and then put them straight into our um, little sa sauce there. Alright so we're just putting our raviolis in now. So we just put so uh, salt in that water as well. So we're putting our raviolis in. Look amazing. Alright, so we're just moving them around that sauce. Try to take off the heat. Beautiful, all right, we'll start flooding up. Look nice. So just serving up these raviolis. Mm. 